Hi guys, today I'm going to look at some grinders and some common issues that I come across that happen to these and see if we can fix them up. We'll see if uh, we can find all of those issues and see if we can get some of these guys going. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at the uh, commutator. We're going to clean that up and we'll check the gear all over inside there. A little bit of slack in the gearbox, but it's not too bad. Let's see how old this is. Take the handle off. And we don't need to take the guard off, but it's easier with it out of the way. Now there's four screws to take the gear off. Right there. Check this bearing. Feels pretty good. You can feel the other bearing. Nice and tight, so that's in good shape. A little damage here. These marks are just from balancing. It's not the damage. Now we're gonna look at the uh, commutator here. We'll just clean that up. Got a piece of sandpaper here. This is pretty fine stuff. I think a thousand grit. Scratch it up too much. I just want to take off any roughness, any rust, and any junk that might be in there. This is a, the old brush. So, very little pressure. Just clean it up, make it smooth again. So the other brush. And I'm going in the same direction with commutator turns. That it'll also not create any marks. So I don't those brushes too quickly. I'm going to turn this shiny copper color so it gets cleaned up, which is good. Actually, it's not nearly as damaged as I thought it was. It's just dirty. Carbon. Alright, so another important point is to take a pick or a small screwdriver and clean in between each of these segments on the uh, commutator. And the reason why is because the old carbon brush can get in there and build up and this metal kinds of gunk can get in there and it can cause shorting or arcing. This out. I'm just gonna take a look at the armature windings. Make sure everything still looks good there. No real damage. Yeah, everything looks pretty good. Alright, so we're gonna reinstall that now. I hope some of you guys found this video helpful. Um, I have to say, even if you follow all of these steps, uh, your grinder could be damaged beyond repair. But uh, sometimes it's worth going through and seeing if you can fix it yourself rather than sending it off to be fixed or scrapping it. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, click like and please subscribe so you can see future videos. Thanks a lot.